you know i uh, i always get uh, like breaking news or sometimes i get the news that goes viral okay uh, in my inbox so one of the pieces of news that caught my eye was uh this guy the creator of dilbert dilbert is a cartoon strip you can just google search dilbert it's very famous just like garfield and you know when you open a newspaper you see the comic strips right so dilbert is pretty famous i'm not very much into cartoon strips but uh, i mean uh, anyone who sees a newspaper they love to read those cartoon strips so uh it seems that this guy uh, scott adams uh he has got cancelled because of a very controversial statement he has been dropped by all not some all the newspapers around the world okay uh around usa sorry and not only that his own distributor and everyone is breaking off ties with him so i was kind of curious and i was like okay why is this happening and then uh, i saw the video he uploaded a video whereby he responded to a poll now keep in mind this guy is 65 years old and uh, he responded to a a poll that was put about it's wrong to be white i you know honestly speaking i don't understand what is this uh, fascination or obsession of the americans or united states of america with skin color they are so obsessed about it the black community the white community the black lives matter all lives matter and then they have oh if you're white you're privileged there's so much of emphasis on skin color uh, in fact uh, i sometimes think you're you're supposed to be this progressive educated modern forward thinking country or at least you portray to be but you're still talking about skin color i mean if it was the 1960s or uh, you're talking of when apartheid was there or you know the segregation fine i'll agree today in 2023 you're still talking about skin color and uh, you know if you research just do a little bit of research you'll understand that the reason for this fascination is simply because the media channels they their only focus is um eyeballs they want views they want hits on the articles how many people read the article how many people are reading this article how many people are watching how much time are they watching a particular news segment so the more controversial it is the more divisive the more like shock value the more people will uh, tune in people see people don't want content that is educational they don't want stuff that helps you improve all they want is politics fights controversy shock hatred so these race uh baited articles topics and debates it seems bring the maximum eyeballs so i guess the media houses they fuel this topic they keep putting these polls of, okay is it wrong to be white is it bad to be white are white privileged white just imagine they are talking of a skin color i don't understand even today you're talking of skin color skin color you're dividing a human being on skin color you and then obviously you'll say yeah so that is why they have to bring these topics no by bringing these topics you are 
making people obsessed and aware of a problem that should not exist. If for example I keep saying, don't think of a pink elephant and I keep repeating, the pink elephant, you know, don't think, let's ignore the pink elephant, there is a bad pink elephant, let's not focus on pink elephant. Oh, once upon a time there was a pink elephant. Now the only thing I keep saying pink, 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 pink elephant and what will you remember? What will you talk about? What will you, what will register in your mind? So in the same way, if you keep saying black American, white American, black uh, America, white America, I mean, uh, you're keeping that issue alive. And even in schools, they are even telling students, it's okay for black lives to matter, but don't. I was watching a, a student that a video where he left school because he was being made to feel guilty about being white. And uh, one day he put on the board, all lives matter. Not just blacks, not just whites. But the teacher made him rub it off immediately and say, no, no, don't say all lives matter. Black lives matter is okay, but don't say all. And he said, I'm, I'm saying all human beings are equal. He's saying, no, 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 it is politically incorrect. Just, you know, let it be. I mean, so if you are white, you're, you're evil? Just because, let's say I was born into a white family, so I'm a bad person. And then this whites have a seat of privilege. My dear, you need to check here on this island, or forget, in Thailand, how many whites are there? Or white skin colored people, since you're so obsessed about it, who hardly are able to pay their bills here. Yeah? Who told you whites are all? And why are we even talking about whites and blacks? In what sense does it make, yeah? It's like in India, the India, the white Indians of India, the brown Indians of India, the dark skin Indians of India. You, do you see how stupid and immature that would sound? But United States of instead of United States, I say the United Mess of America. It's not United States. You're not united. United for what? Where are you united? So they had this poll where they apparently asked, is it wrong to be white? So 50% said yes or no. 50% sorry, 50% said no, it's not wrong to be white. The other 21 said, I don't know. The other one, some 23 or whatever said, Yes, it's wrong to be white. So a total of 40% were not sure or feel it's wrong to be white. And this guy who is 65 years old, he said, you know, he was kind of frustrated. He was like, I'm sick and tired of this and, you know, I just don't want to be in this either white supremacy group or black group or any group. But then, in his frustration and in his uh, moment of communicating, he said some statements which I think were totally out of place. Like he said, just keep away from the blacks and, uh, you know, sometimes you need to be careful how you word things. You know, he was maybe emotionally charged and instead of saying, okay, see, I'm not supporting what he said, okay. It's totally immature and totally silly how he said what he said. And I'm pretty sure I would like to believe. That's what I would like to believe. He's not a racist human being. That's what I would like to believe for a man who's 65 and has been perfectly okay with any skin color. My, my analysis, my understanding is he just got pissed off and frustrated with this, these polls where they are constantly nudging you and making you feel guilty for being white. He just said, I'll just keep away from all blacks, which is wrong. To be honest, it's very wrong to say something like that, but I don't believe that he is racist. I mean, do I start, for example, me, do I start judging people? Which color are you? Which color? This color, come here. Come on, man. What, what nonsense is this? So he definitely 
made a mistake there when he said keep away from black people and uh, he he just went on the rant and said a lot of things which he shouldn't have said and invariably what he did is he at least for now has killed off his career killed off his creation killed off his creativity because he stays in us he is an american he has to live in america work with americans and now nobody wants to deal with him now i absolutely am not supporting what he has said okay i don't i just find it stupid when you are differentiated for a particular like example if i were to say keep away from this religion okay all christians are bad stupid it's not racist but it's wrong right all hindus are bad all no some there are some people in every category who are bad there are many people who are why say many because generally people they don't go around harming killing hurting others most people even if they don't do good they'll not do bad they want to mind their own business that's what i believe so this really i mean terrible that he did this especially with the influence that he has especially with the coverage that he has especially given that he's a known personality i guess being 65 years of age when you grow older your tolerance level is less okay so now he has said it and immediately after he said it all the media channels everyone they distanced themselves from him and they cancelled him cancelled him means now they don't want anything got to do with him they will not publish his cartoons whatever work he has and nobody wants to do business with him okay so what do i think about this particular with regards to him see um, the media channels no in usa they are not saints they are busy fueling this topic for eyeballs for views to generate income revenue because end of the day when you put a topic that is divisive that is controversial that is shocking and they have the metrics to study if i put this article so many views i'll get if i speak on this article so many views i got so they evaluate oh this one has the highest number of views let's focus only on this why do you think they kept focusing on um uh covid that time that was getting the highest number of views deaths of covid scare of covid controversy of covid new virus new mutation but then when putin's war with ukraine started russia and ukraine the highest number of views and interest was that topic not uh, covid so all the media channels switched over in america as far as i see it when they talk of race black man gets killed by white cop they will not say another american died black man died okay fine there are situations maybe there is a black individual why are you calling on color man i mean if you actually look in jail i read it somewhere the maximum number of people who are being arrested are whites but nobody will say that right because then you're not giving them the narrative that they want and here's a funny thing what is wrong in saying all lives matter all human beings are equal what's wrong in saying no that's not a statement that will give many views but if you raise your fist say black black the color lives matter even on my facebook when i said all lives are equal all lives matter oh loy you don't understand you don't understand you're not a black man what nonsense here yeah. see the bottom line is this the media is no saint the media is out there to make money the politicians are no saints they are out there to capitalize on your fears and take advantage joe biden is not a bloody saint he's an old man he's anyway demented demented in the he has old age and all that he is just following instructions from the party that scores maximum points and he knows the race issue is a hot button topic so he capitalizes on it 
and he said, I unify USA. Yeah, you unify by doing what? By constantly stating, I have a black this thing here, I have a black this thing. Oh, this is a transgender. You are dividing. Your message is, I want to unify, but you are dividing. Just imagine even in schools, if they start teaching, you're black, you're white. You're already breaking them apart, right? You're making them aware of a problem. Like I told you, the pink elephant. Don't think of it. Don't think of the pink elephant. Ignore the topic of the pink elephant. Why are you talking of the pink elephant? So when I keep talking pink elephant, what do you think? Same thing media is doing, right? Terrible, man. Terrible. It's a shame. It's sad. And people are getting fed up. I mean, I don't understand. Yes, slavery existed. Yes. In 1960s, slavery existed. 1940s. It's like I'm... You know, the logic here is, people are saying, ah, oh, slavery existed, so you have to apologize. I'll give you a simple example. It's like me telling you, my great-grandfather was a drunkard, was a boozer, was a womanizer. That's why I am a boozer, drunkard, you know, I smoke, I am womanizing. Because of my grandfather. Shouldn't, would you buy that argument? If I tell you that because my grandfather was evil, I'm evil? I'll say, no man, your grandfather died years ago. Take charge of your life. Make your own decisions, change your life. Take charge and change. So when we use the logic for personal responsibility, now why are you blaming something that our great grandfathers and ancestors did? They are even catching actors and actresses whose great grandfather was a slave trader. They are blaming them. Now you owe me money. It's like my great grandfather, he worked for you, you didn't pay money. Your family didn't pay money. Your great-grandfather didn't pay money. And now I'm asking you, give me one million. Because my great-grandfather worked for you. You'll be like, are you stupid? It's a, it's crazy, man. When they want, they throw common sense out of the window. When they want, they will include it. They'll bend the rules the way they like. For once, I totally agree with Elon Musk. The media themselves are racist. They are playing the race card. And instead of uniting America as one, they're bringing up issues that don't exist. Why? Commercial viability. Now the media will run this story, black and white and black and white. Politicians will jump in because they will score points. And uh, who we call that? Uh, other people who want to show a very clean image yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll go with the popular movement. Whatever is popular, they'll say yes, yes, yes. And they'll break off from everyone else. I think we are running a popularity contest here. Not one where you stand up for what you believe in. That's the same problem with Jordan Peterson, Ben Shapiro. And even me, if I put a topic that is educational, self-improvement, Hardly any clicks or views, but if I put something shocking, oh, sex or this or that, or, oh, how many views? Politics, dirty, this, that, how many views? Hmm. This is the world we live in, man. Anyway, you let me know your thoughts. I just feel that he got frustrated. He said something which he doesn't mean. <sighs> yes, freedom of speech should be there. But sometimes you need to use common sense. My main bone of contention is you who are crucifying him, you are the one who keeps bringing up this topic. And then when someone reacts to it, you make them frustrated, make them angry, make them disappointed. And when they react, then you call them racist. It's like you're busy putting a bait. It's like a man who is addicted to smoking or drinking. You keep putting the bottle of alcohol in front of him. And you wait when he'll drink and once, once he drinks, see I told you he's a drunkard, see I told you. Or someone whose weakness is sex, you keep bringing hot women half naked in front of him. He tries to stop, stop, stop for years and years and years. Finally when he caves in, see, he doesn't have any values. 
He's a rapist. He's a sexual pervert. This is what is happening in the US. Anyway, you let me know if you agree, disagree. But for me, I'm not into this color segregation, whatever. For me, everyone's the same. And I'll always say, all lives matter. Black, white, yellow, red. All lives matter. Everyone's equal. I'm not looking for a popularity vote and thankfully I'm not in this nonsense and especially not living in USA. Let me know what do you think. Good, bad, ugly. Feel free. Comment down below. It's me signing off.